It always seemed to be, doesn't it, that when there's a uh, privatisation, it's the chief executives uh, make a fortune out of it, and the postal workers, you know, will, will be damaged by this, uh, the impact of privatisation. So it's about the impact of privatisation will have on our people's terms and conditions. But a £2,000 sweetener, that's a lot of money. Are you absolutely sure your members won't be tempted by that and vote against the strike? Nobody uh, turns back uh, free money. We're absolutely confident. You know, in this country, we seem to be more concerned about plastic bags than the postal services. We've got at the Liberal Dem conference the politics of plastic bags. When this Conservative-led uh, government has managed to persuade post office managers and post office counters to have a strike ballot for the first time in 47 years. What kind of leadership is that? But you're not going to be able to stop privatisation at this stage, do you think? I mean, even a strike, it'll damage the process, but it won't stop it. Well, privatisation will definitely damage the uh, postal service. You know, last week there was a poll in the Sunday Times that showed that 70% of the great British public are against privatisation. You know, and it, it's just not called for, it's not necessary, uh, and this just... Government, as I say, seem to be more interested in plastic bags than postal services. Don't you think that all this extra private money coming into the service, however, at a time when you're facing competition from TNT and UK Mail, that could be very good for the service? That's what the government's saying. It certainly needs uh, investment of money, but it's the most expensive way to borrow money. The government's just allowed the GLA to borrow £1 billion for the extension of the Northern Line, so it can access capital. In fact, in Canada, where Moya Green, a chief executive, of Canada Post uh, ran that service, she was able to borrow money on the open markets. So she kept, uh, ironically enough, Canada Post in the public sector. So there's no reason why Royal Mail can't do exactly what Canada Post done. At this stage, do you expect the strike to go ahead? Oh, I'm certain there'll be a, a, a yes vote in the strike ballot. Do you know, we're so confident of our position. We invited Moya Green to come and listen to every single postal representative in the UK, and not one of them was convinced by the arguments that Moy Green put forward. You know, when there's a privatisation, chief executives do well. We intend to make sure that whatever happens, our people's uh, conditions are, are protected and we will defend our people.